What's going on everybody? Brian here from Brian's Broadcast. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel and you're visiting it for the first time, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you like this content, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon too. Today is another fragrance review and this time it's from the house called City Rhythm. Now the owner of the house, Niles Ramadeen, he's an independent creator and this guy started his life out here in New York City, particularly from Manhattan. So he named his first fragrance release Manhattan Midnight. Let me show you what I got in the package. So the first thing you notice is this particular box. The bottle is inside. I'm going to show you more of this particular packaging, but let me show you what I got in the main package. So you got two sam um, and two cards containing information on the note breakdown. And this is a second release, Miami Tropical Seduction. That's a second one. First one was um, Manhattan Midnight. And he was very kind enough to send me a free sample of Man uh, Miami Tropical seduction you can see the color of the juice it's kind of like orange some kind of like it looks like a cocktail or something all right guys so enough chit chat let's show you the presentation on this this is a nice cylindrical packaging that's the bottom and at the back you can see he did sign it so Niles Ramadine that's a nice touch nice gesture and on the top of this particular packaging you can see it's a city rhythm it's a wax seal so you pour the wax and you stamp it that's a very nice touch it's, it looks bronze and i like it that's a very nice touch so once when you pop it open so that's the top part of the cap the bottle sits right inside there you go and it sits pretty deep as you can see almost halfway through and that's about it on the packaging. Let me show you the bottle and the fragrance juice um, quickly. As you can see, that's the bottle. It's a cylindrical one. Glass feels pretty premium. It's got like a nice touch to it. You can see it like the bottom part. The cap is really fantastic. It's a magnetic cap. There you go. And the price on this fragrance is $105 when I particularly purchased it. And maybe he may be running some kind of sale or something. And else, give me a discount code or something, man, a bigger discount next time. But anyways, um, I'm not complaining on that. It's, it's an extra de parfum. It's a 55 ml bottle. And um, a little suggestion, Niles. So if you're watching this, um, you could put it because um, you can see like when I twist this cap, it aligns itself nicely like one of those Bleu de Chanel bottles. So Niles, if you can put up a symbol or something on top, a logo or something, it'll look really cool, just like this um, uh, wax seal. Um, never mind. That's just my honest opinion. I'll tell you the note breakdown first, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I got from this fragrance. So on the top, you got bergamot, cinnamon, violet leaf. On the mids, you get tea, incense, labdanum. And on the base, you got tobacco leaf, vanilla, vetiver, and cedar. Now, guys, Manhattan, New York City, the Big Apple. Now, New York City is said or expressed as a city that never slips. It's 100% true. This city never slips. 24-7, it's running. There are so many businesses, um, of offices, and a lot of other places. Like, they don't shut down. The entire night, day, it's running 24-7. So... His impression and expression for this particular fragrance was to express something like that, like the mysterious and, you know, ever so sparkling and glitz and glam of New York City, Manhattan particularly. So this fragrance, when I spray it, and just so you know, the extra de parfum, the oil concentration is pretty high. So I have it drying down on my hand right now. I don't know if you can see the shiny part. Maybe it's gone. It's been almost like three or four hours. So, yeah. But this fragrance has this beautiful, mysterious touch to it. It's, I don't know how to express it, but I'm not trying to hype it up. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this fragrance with my own money. And I'm telling you the truth here. This fragrance is extremely, extremely unique. I have never smelled anything that, you know, that comes as close to this particular one. Now, when I spray it, this bergamot, cinnamon, and the violet leaf. Bergamot and cinnamon, like 
the mix up with that spicy hint and the freshness. It's just New York City coming back to life early in the morning, although it's running 24 seven, but early in the morning when there's a lot of traffic on the road, honks, cars honking, and uh, the subways are packed, the buses are packed, people are running across the street, they're rushing to work. That is the kind of feel you get when you first spray this fragrance. It's very lively, pretty much invigorating, but not too much, but you feel that alive kind of feel. The violet leaf, um, you, you may have encountered this particular ingredient in fragrances, particularly in Dior Fahrenheit, where people compare it to having a gasoline kind of feel. I don't feel something like that, but there's this green and, you know, fresh green kind of feel in the opening. But as it starts drying down, like around the three or fourth hour mark, when it starts drying down, the tea becomes really prominent. The tea, incense, and labdanum creates that beautiful, slightly dark and humorous and mysterious kind of vibe. The top notes are gone by then. But right now, as it starts drying down, there's this beautiful tea. And the tea comes through like really, really prominent. It's one of those, that tea that, you know, you really got to boil. It's the black one, the black powder kind of tea. You understand what I'm talking about. Like, especially the Desi guys will understand this, Desi people. But anyways, if you're used to tea, the chai, as we all know it, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that comes in really strong and it's, it's, it's really, I, I, I really don't know how to place these words, but it's really, really fantastic. It's really mysterious. And it gives you that beautiful, wide open feel of ever so mysterious New York City, like going through the alleys and um, roads and streets of New York City, particularly Manhattan. You, you'll be lost in a maze. If you're a first time visitor in New York City, you will be lost. I'm 100% I can assure you on that. No matter if you have your GPS or whatsoever, it, it, it's a 100% chance you might get lost. And towards the dry down, Guys, the dry down is fantastic. The tobacco leaf, it's not one of that sharp or bitter kind of tobacco. It's really smooth. It's very smooth. And the vanilla, it's like a, it gives you that slightly powdery and slightly sweet kind of vanilla. It's not the juicy one, kind of dry, powdery, sweet kind of vanilla that mixes with this tobacco. And that thing comes off really, really nice. And the projection is not too much, I'm telling you. Um, this fragrance, I have a feeling that it's more of like it's it keeps you in a fragrance bubble. The entire day, it keeps on wafting from your skin. It's not a loud projection monster if you're looking for that. This is not the particular fragrance, but the longevity is supreme on this one. As, as it says, like this is an extract de parfum and it truly performs. I've got like more than 10 hours and 10 being the average. I've used it like three or four days particularly and especially in this winter time. And I mean, not winter, like it's pretty chilly right now. The winter time is coming up, but it's a fantastic fragrance. In my office, I do get compliments with this and it's very unique. Like I said, it's not your usual designer or any other kind of niche fragrance. This is completely off the track. It's an authentic creation. It smells very unique. And the longevity, again, on an average is 10 hours. It definitely pushes more, but I'm just saying, telling you in an average. And this is a very good buy. I really wish I, you had a very, I mean, you had a bigger bottle for this, Niles. And I really like the fragrance. Again, this is not hyping up. You can go, go ahead and get a sample. And as a New Yorker, I particularly felt obliged to get this since it said Manhattan, Manhattan Midnight. So guys, that was my honest and humble take on this particular fragrance. Let me know in the comment section below if you own this fragrance, if you want to try it or what you feel about this fragrance that Niles has created for us. And guys, go ahead and support him because he's doing something creative. So yeah, like, I mean, we all have our differences, but then again, not everybody comes through. He's a fantastic guy to talk with and he's very friendly. So go ahead, check out these fragrances. Let me know in the comment section below. And then once again, Niles, thumbs up to this particular fragrance. And I will be trying out the Miami version of it. And I'll probably do a first impression on it because like there's not too much to try over here. Um, so yeah, guys, that was my take. So until the next fragrance review, please take care, stay safe, all the best.